The defending champs in the Mountain West get a look at one of the best quarterbacks in the country, Brandon Doman in BYU. He'd like to make that 11-0. With Luke Staley, just a fabulous running back. Look at that number, nine yards per carry. You'll enjoy watching him tonight. Two tight end look. Doman with time. Short completion that is dropped and then recovered. They've got to back up. And it's a second down for Brigham Young. It's called a BYU bounce, we learned last night. They lost four yards on that fumble. Direct snap at Staley, and Staley is across the 40-yard line. Doman, little inside screen. And it's caught by Mike Regal. On second and two, option. And look at Doman. To the 36-yard line. Great look for the first time. Opening drive, Staley. Inside the 30. Rips off another 11 yards. Doman, lots of time for the end zone. His receiver, I think, was out of bounds. It's caught by Spencer Need, the tight end. Apparently went out of bounds. First came in, touched the ball. Lost it down. Second down. And we'll watch it. You can't go out on your own. Oh, that's a good call there because Ned went out on his own, and it wasn't that he was pushed out. Staley in the backfield with Dolman, who again has a ton of time. And he's got a man. Caught by Mahe. Pitch to Staley. He's going to throw it. And it, it's picked up. Flags go down. And we'll have to wait. Full downfield offense. We have pass interference, defense. Those offset, replay, first down. And now, they can get a first down at the two. Dolman keeps it, and he's in. Touchdown, Brigham Young. And down, Redstock in motion. Ruff, and Ruff has a big hole out to the 38-yard line. Ben Pelt, first throw. Got away with one, and it's caught out at midfield. Second down, Van Pelt swings it out. Caught at the four. Here's our first option look, and there's Van Pelt with the footwork you talked about. Van Pelt going deep, and it's picked up. Gennaro Guilford. You're being kind. There was more than a little open here. Yeah. Doman. To the 25-yard line. Third and 10. Doman. Over the middle. Complete. 32-yard line. He was sitting in a zone 11 yards deep, and it was third and 10. Staley on a pitch. And Luke Staley across the 40. Every time he touches the football, it's about 9 or 10 yards. It's almost automatic. Aaron Sprague made the stop. Staley doesn't run any faster than he has to run. He really locks on to the blockers in front of them. Look at the numbers there. This, this number right here is just phenomenal. What was the number you looked up today, the record? 9.6. Yeah. Chuck Witherspoon yeah. of Houston. Houston. And, I mean, that's within reach. I mean, if Staley has a couple big games, he could get from 9.1 up to 9.6. Dolman, little dump off. Spencer Need. Need to the 30. Need to the 20. Out of bounds at the 13. I mean, guys down the truck are splendid. Maybe the best I've ever seen, but uh, it's hard to see on that shot. Doman on the option, and Doman's inside the 30. Lost the football, and it's scooped up. That's Sean Halliday to the six-yard line. 
First and goal from the six. Dolman. Oh, boy. Hit at the two. And when it's also having a great offensive line. Look at this motion. Dolman going to throw the quick screen. And it's caught into the end zone. Touchdown. Luke Staley. Final. Hey, Dolman had his coming out party, didn't he? Yes, he did. That was the good news for BYU. There's Van Pelt. And Bradley Van Pelt wills himself out to the beginning of the ball. Van Pelt on the draw. And Van Pelt's across midfield. Van Pelt to the 30. He's 20. Flags go down. Van Pelt is dragged down. This one's going to come back partially. Legal block in the back. 10-yard penalty on the offense. Two tight end look. Van Pelt. Across the 30, here's the fourth and six again. Blitz on the way. Van Pelt, broke it up. Guilford again. Strong suit of Van Pelt. That's not a badly thrown ball, a poorly thrown ball, but it's just great defense. For that 14-0 lead. Staley out of the backfield to the 37-yard line. Dolman will keep it. Another gain of 10. Dolman again. Junior Mahe the catch. Dolman another big game. 25 yard line before he's caught. Final minute approaching first quarter. Doman inside screen. Mahe to the five, to the two. Staley in the backfield. Staley trying to get in. He does. Touchdown. doing well to be where they are. I think four and three now, but he's a he's, Houston, that's a good coach. Here's the difference in the offense from last year, 12 games, <laughs> to this year, only seven games. Uh, enough said, huh? Kim Young in this first quarter. Childs on the last play of this first quarter. Back and then defensive back, and that's not good when they decide to switch you there. That well, it's a nice catch by Childs on the pitch. He's across the 45. One yards, and they had a big play call. There's Childs, and he's inside the 30 down to the Van Pelt. Nice pitch. Childs to the five. He trips. <laughs> he lands at the one. Gonna throw it. Caught for the touchdown. Out in uh, the pack 10. On first down, quick throw to Mahe. And Mahe is out to the to the 24 yard. Play today. That's a good point. There's a great story in that game. As Dolman throws a little center screen to Staley. Staley is out to the 37 yard line. <laughs> Dolman. Scrambling. And escapes out of bounds with the first down. 56 yard run to a 37 yard run, and the drive stalled right after that. Inside screen to Mike Rugel to the 49 yard line. I'm Fresno score. 39. Staley on an inside handoff does not have the first down. On fourth and four, option with Dolman, who's caught, and I don't think he got it. No, he didn't. Yeah, I think so. Van Pelt cuts in, and Van Pelt is across the 40. Let's see what they come with here. And the BYU 18. Van Pelt, oh, he keeps it. Van Pelt did a five easy touchdown. How about that? All right, stay showing blitz. Here they come, Dolman. Huh. 
Doug Jolly, the tight end. Sean. Stanley. We haven't heard from him lately. He's out to the 37. They're coming. Dolman steps out of it, dropped the ball. That should be an incompletion, and it's picked up. Brian Sabe is into the end zone. Are talking right now. Here's a look. That's an incompletion. I don't agree. I don't agree. I think it's a good call. I think it's a good call, Rich, because they've done a miraculous job here to adjust. Now Dolman throws it over the middle, and it's caught there by Doug Jolly, the tight end. He's got. Dolman hits his man again, Jolly, at the 40 as well as Tampa Bay does. Yeah, and there are a lot of teams that try to do it. Dolman on the option. He pitches it for Stanley. Stanley to the 20. Did he stay in bounds? Into the end zone. Touchdown. 44 yards. <laughs> With his 40th career touchdown. And this one got some help from Brandon Dolman. Oh, 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 oh. oh, maybe he stepped out. We're going to have to look at this one again. Stop. That is 19. And Rebstock breaks outside. Rebstock's out to the 45 yard line. It's in a half. Van Pelt with a draw. And across midfield goes Van Pelt. He's down to the 42 yard. They... Let's see what Van Pelt can create here. I was going to give it to Childs, who has the first down. That's a 29. And tackle now. Now the clock starts. Van Pelt. The tuck it again. Good move. Trying to get outside. Does. Gets out of bounds and stops the clock. It's in what has been a wild first half. Van Pelt. Pumping. Throwing. Corner. Caught. Out of the end zone there and let the clock run out. Got to get the ball out of your hands. Van Pelt again into the end zone. Rebstock got it! Touchdown! Oh! Pete Rebstock! Wait a minute! They ruled it out! One official said touchdown, and now they're going to talk about it. Brandon Heaney was on the coverage. The official on the left said touchdown. The one on the right said no. Here's the call. I didn't think it was close, but we're a long way away. Pass is ruled. Incomplete. Fourth down. My goodness. 2.7 seconds left. Here's a look. Four versus four. Two great football players. Oh, that's a touchdown. Oh, man. I think that's a touchdown. It's in slow motion, but it seemed like he had the football forever. One, two feet wow. down. That's a touchdown. Wow. Bad call. That's a touchdown. Bad call. We've had several questionable calls here in an unbelievable first half. After a long wait, the kid steps up and drills it. And so Sonny Lubick doesn't get seven. He does get three. And he's going to let those officials know as soon as he gets them in his sights. Just a wild first half. Here in Provo, number eight, Brigham Young, 28, Colorado State, 24. Halftime, finally. Here's Reese Davis. With time and a man, it's Ochoa. He's across the 30. Ochoa slides into the 46-yard line. That's a 38-yard. Second down, Henri Child. Childs to the 20, the 10, caught at the 5. Childs is out, Ruff is in. Van Pelt hit to the 5. Oh, he got in. He ran right over someone. And he's still not down. Easter this Friday. All right, I'm saying it's Manana. I'm saying Croton figures something out and they get going here. Dolman, there's Mahe. 
And Junior Mahe is out to the 42-yard line. Five and take it to it. The aggressor wins in sports. Dome a quick throw to the sideline. And it's completed to Toby Christensen. Good looking athlete. On third down, Doman scrambling and throwing. It's caught by the tight end, Doug Jolly. His time. Doman on the draw. And he has a block and a lane. Doman to the 10. He's in. Touchdown, Brigham Young. Option for Van Pelt. Let's see if they make him pitch it. Walking. They'd like a lot more of them with the Olympics coming up. Yeah. Three months. This is Staley. And Staley busts out to the 46 yard line. West in tackles as well. Pauley with 83. Wood with 75 coming in. Now Doman's throw is caught. Breaking loose is Mahe. Running back when he arrived here in Provo. Now he's their top receiver. Dolman, the screen was covered. Dolman steps out. And Dolman is inside the 25, out of bounds at the 21. Five or seven yards out of bounds. It's Staley. Direct snap. He's going to score. His fourth touchdown of the night. His 41st in his career. He's now the... The leader all time here at Brigham Young. All right, Val, let's flash back a little bit. This is the first year that you've worked with Coach Croton, but the relationship dates back to high school when he threw passes to you. Yeah, he was a great quarterback, great athlete all around. We pole vaulted together. He, he was a, a good quarterback, very good, and, and a great person. Childs to the 27. Let's go as big an issue as the BCS problem. Look at Childs go across the 35. Isn't, though, the schedule the first. Rebstock in motion. This is Henri Childs. Running hard to the 43-yard line. Justin Enna. Van Pelt. <laughs> he doesn't take the easy way out. And, you know, have come with his head down at the end of the run. Childs, big hole. And he spins around to the 40. Chubiel will be the best of the bunch. Childs to the 21-yard line. Now, first and 10, Van Pelt. There's the draw. And Van Pelt to the 12. The run, and they picked up a first down, so it's first and 10, not second and 25. That's really a break. For Carlos and Van Pelt, he lost the ball. Dreesen in motion. A second down, Van Pelt. They had the drop, sniffed out. And they get Van Pelt back at the 22-yard line. Blitz coming. Van Pelt has a man at the 10. He's short of the first down. Tough angle. And he got it. I think Ole Miss is better than Colorado. How's that? Ah, okay. Mike Rigel. And, we, and, that's right. and they've done it in a total of 11 plays. Yeah, it, the game is in the hands of the white team on defense. Staley's pitch, or rather, Doman's pitcher. Rich Waltz, Dean Blevins, Heather Cox. Brandon Doman at the controls of the BYU offense. And what an offense has been tonight. Junior Mahe, the catch out at the 40. Completion that came as a fumble. 28 fumbles. They've lost only seven this year. There's Doman to the 20. Find tailback someplace. Stay on the pitch. Luke cuts back. There's a flag down. Back at the line of scrimmage. Staley with a tremendous effort. He's in the end zone, but it might be coming back. Well, well, yeah, that one will we'll come back. Reload the cannon. Just like our ball game tonight, full of entertainment, that play was full of entertainment. 20 now. But that's very doable for this Brigham Young offense. Doman. 
flushed. Going deep. Man up and caught. Wow. Touchdown. And a better play by a quarterback than that. Steve Young taught him well this summer. Brigham Young, 49, Colorado State, 34. Perspective. Colorado State, two touchdowns away. Van Pelt's pitch. Childs is going over 200 yards, and he may be going all the way. He's caught from behind and pulled down at the 28-yard line. Option. Van Pelt pitches. Childs dropped the ball. BYU's got it, and it recovers. 8% of the time. Doman gives to Staley, who breaks loose, and Luke Staley running out to the 30-yard line. Over 1,000 for this season. Staley. Seven more yards. Staley on the carry. And 11 jobs in 20 years. And I'm not kidding. Doman on the option, and he's got the first down for Brigham Young. You has run for 345 yards. <laughs> Reverse, it's Mahe. And he's gonna try the other side. Reno Mahe. Mahe to the 50, he's down to the 26. <laughs> He executed his own double reverse. <laughs> Staley again. It ends up being a triple reverse, they right? Ultimately if they finish the way we think they will, uh, you know, there'll be a top team coming in next year. Dolman, even though they lose quarterback. Escapes once, escapes twice. Dolman looking, throwing from his back, and it was a bad throw. It was intercepted. Picked off by Aaron. On third down. Van Pelt completes it. Kapari. Van Pelt. That one deflected and intercepted. And BYU is forced to turn over. And it's Ryan Denny. He deflected the first one. He collects the second one. Was batted up at 92 coming from your right side of the screen. Good reaction. Very good reaction. Great hands. He was catching punch yesterday. Brett Kiesel deflected it last week. Then he showed off his speed. This was a key play. San Diego State on a long drive. Watch it, this. Denny scoops it up. Look at it. He's like, Look at that. He's like Forrest Gump. <laughs> I think he's a foot taller there, than Tom Hanks. There's Staley. Again, guys, that's 6'7", 275. The teams in this conference need to play better out of conference. There's Doman. There's a flag down back at the 40. Doman is still wandering around to the 20, down to the 18-yard line, 36 yards. But this one's coming back. We're around 100th strength of schedule. That's not good. In fact, that's bad. Dolman fakes the reverse to Mahe. Throws it to a wide open man that Stearns, who makes the catch, holds on to the 23-yard line. Four hours, you know, you're gonna make 15 points. Yeah, so don't worry, man. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Dolman hit hard on that one. Us here or there, and they were sort of counting the spots. On the pitch, Mahe. Oh! To the nine-yard line at the end of that game. <laughs> and his name is Brandon Dolman. Yeah. And since that quarter, Dolman hasn't lost. I mean, he came in in relief in that game. And that'll go up to 846 because Luke Staley's going to score a touchdown here. And Staley will walk in with his fifth touchdown. One time, and I had an interception, but... Zero punts, 11 possessions, eight touchdowns. Ooh, and they haven't stopped hitting. Kobe Buckwalt. Brad Van Pelt from Colorado State. Throws over the middle and completes it to Pete Redstock. Out to the 24-yard line. 
Well, he's thrown for 115 as well, so he has some numbers. He'll add to that as he hits red stock. He's knocked out of bounds. The game's remaining. Van Pelt. And Bradley Van Pelt is out to the 47. What? And I'm sure BYU has a couple of them as well. I, I think the, the most critical critical play that you look back at was the, the you know, quarterbacks don't go to the line and, and have the ability to check them to run to a pass. And Reb stop inside the 20. It'll stop the clock with a minute left. And he went. He knew that. He knew he'd rack up that many yards in the ground. And the Sanex championships are coming up. And down goes Van Pelt. That's Blitz coming. Pass complete. And out of bounds. Third down. Another blitz. Van Pelt. End zone. Picked off. Kurt Elliott. So those two teams could uh, take a loss. And of course, a loss hurts you in that standing. It's part of the formula. For those of you that want even more BYU and Colorado <laughs> State will be on ESPN News with more post-game coverage. We'll talk BCS. We'll talk Brandon Dolman. We'll talk Gary Curtin and Luke Staley. Gary Croton and Brigham Young, number eight in the country, trying to climb the BCS ladder. Tonight they make a statement against Sonny Lubick and the Colorado State Rams. They beat them by a score of 56 to 34. There's your final. Brigham Young is now 9 and 0. Up next, the WTA San X Championships. Join us over on ESPN News, won't you? This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Dean Blevins, Heather Cox, our entire crew, I'm Rich Waltz. For more, log on to ESPN.com. BYU still undefeated at 9 and 0.